Ligation of femoral vein Through a small incision in the skin of the upper leg overlying the femoral vein, the physician isolates and dissects the femoral vein from other critical structures. After affixing vessel clamps, the physician ligates the vein or inserts a catheter into the femoral vein. A guide wire may be inserted prior to the catheter, then removed. Through the catheter, the physician places an occluding device in the vein. The catheter is removed and the skin incision is repaired with a layered closure. Ligation of common iliac vein The physician performs a lower midline abdominal incision and dissects to expose the common iliac vein. The physician interrupts common iliac venous flow by tying the common iliac vein off with suture. The physician closes the abdomen, leaving drains in place. Ligation and division of short saphenous vein at saphenopopliteal junction the physician makes an incision in the skin overlying the short saphenous vein at its junction with the saphenopopliteal vein at the knee. The vessels are dissected and ties are placed around the short saphenous vein which is divided between the ties. Once the ties are in place and the vein has been divided, the skin incision is repaired with a layered closure. Ligation of perforator veins, subfascial radical, linton type, including skin graft, when performed, open, one leg. Ligation of perforator vein, S, subfascial, open, including ultrasound guidance, when performed, one leg. Through incisions along the course of the saphenous vein, the veins connecting the deep and superficial veins of the leg are isolated. They are ligated, isolating the two systems along the course of the leg. The incisions may be sutured or covered with skin grafts shaved from another part of the patient's body.